Hola, this is Torley Linden, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you all about about land, the access tab. And as you can see, you can allow public access and you can ban people if you so choose. Before I get to that, let me show you how to freeze someone who's unwelcome on your parcel. Okay, if you want to discourage them, you can eject them too. But say I am Belmont Tester. Okay, this is his screen. And then he's flying on and maybe he's causing a ruckus. Maybe he is being a chat spammer. Maybe he is just being an overall jerk. Maybe he's just, you know, typing out a bunch of crap like that. And I don't like that and I've asked him nicely to stop. Well, as the parcel owner, whether you choose to give a reason or not, it's nice to be sociable, of course, you can freeze other avatars in your parcel by right-clicking them and then go to more. And then as you see, you can freeze them. So, yes, once I freeze Belmont Tester, Belmont kind of drops to the ground. So that's why it appears Belmont is moving instead of frozen. But I will have lost control of my movement keys as Belmont. And it's kind of leaving me in this really helpless situation. And it's pretty frustrating because I can't use my movement keys to do anything. So more than a freeze, it's kind of like a drop, duck, and row, and fly, and fly under the sea to somewhere else where I don't know anywhere where I'm going. And this lasts for a period of time. 30 seconds, so it should be ending soon. Okay, there we go. So I can fly back as Belmont Tester after that humiliating treatment. If I was just standing on the ground, though, instead of flying, it should just freeze me in place and I wouldn't be allowed to fly. Sometimes that's good for giving someone a lecture, but more often than not, people who are already causing trouble and in a bad frame of mind are unlikely to respond to that. So if I were to right click and more and freeze again, <laughs> here you go, buddy. And then, yeah, so Belmont's frozen. And then I, I can't move, I can't move. So back at Torley's screen, just go and unfreeze again. Unfreeze. Okay, now Belmont can move. But if I don't want Belmont there and I don't want to, to, to really mess around with freezing, I can go to right click, more, and just eject Belmont. You can eject and ban. I'll show you what that does. That's a good connector. So. Bye. <laughs> and away Belmont goes. Where did Belmont go? Belmont went, got kicked out to the adjacent parcel where he is now loitering on Matthew Linden's roof. And when he tries to fly back in, Belmont cannot cross into this banned parcel. Another good thing to know, and I found this out after traveling around, if your parcel like mine is at the edge of a region, when someone is banned from it, they will not see the ban lines if they try to cross in from the region's edge. They will see it if they're in the same region. Like right now, I'm in Grasmere, right? So these red lines are popping up to tell me that Belmont Tester, as you recall, he's been banned. No entry. But if I, whoop, if I go around to the edge here, and then as you can see, it says cannot region cross in the banned parcel. There's no lines there because I'm not in the region, but I'm still banned. Back on Torley Linden's screen, under About Land and the Access tab, let's have a look now at these various options. Okay? So when Allow Public Access is off, that means no one can access it except for more selective groups. If I uncheck this, notice that I can sell passes. This isn't a very useful feature. Some people have their own scripted solutions because as the system works, it's kind of limited. Notice that if I click Sell Passes to, I can't even select. It's a little confusing. And if I were to remove Belmont Tester, and let's go back to his screen, let's see if he can buy a pass to get in. What's confusing about it is, yeah, it says Buy Pass Now on these lines. So you're wondering, how do I buy a pass? And how that's done is if you right click and you buy a pass on the parcel. And you must be in the same region to do this. So bypass, and you can bypass to enter it for 10.25 hours. So it has some uses. It's not the most useful, though. I swear I just bought, bought a pass. Why am I not allowed in? Did I just get ripped off? Let's try that again. Oh, there we go. It just takes a little while. Yeah, I paid for a land access pass. Okay, things might just take a while. Then I can walk on it for 10 point whatever hours. What you can also do here, though, 
And you may want to experiment with that. This isn't used very much at all if you're wondering, you know, hey, Torley, how, mu how much do people actually go about and do this? I haven't seen this too much in practice. Usually people resort to other means, like having a scripted box that you pay. And if you don't pay it, then it uses a scripting call to kick you out of the LAN. So I can uncheck that. And he's allowed here for a while. He's got, you know, so-and-so minutes left. And what we can also do now, I'll just remove that since... I'll just remove him, rather, since allow public access is back on. I can restrict this so that if someone hasn't given their payment info on file, that they will not be allowed in. So now that that's checked, let's check again with Belmont. Somehow he's managed his way into the parcel. He shouldn't be allowed in, though. He should have been kicked out. See, that's another kind of loophole. That's confusing now. Okay, so now since he doesn't have payment info on file, it asks to set it up, and you have to set this up on the website. Just a standard account login. If I right click and profile, right here, it says on his profile, no payment info on file. And that's how you know. A similar case is recently, not too long ago, when we started implementing age verification. And for the purposes of things like adult content, if you have sexually explicit or extremely violent content on your parcel, you can also check that. And by the way, there is a complimentary option here in the options tab. You should make sure to check mature content if you do indeed have mature content. Otherwise, you could get in trouble, and I don't want that. So just make a responsible choice about enabling that if you do in fact have content which is only, only adults friendly. I mean, not even friendly in some cases, but only adults appropriate. I'm a Stephen King fan, so I do disclaim that. And moving onward, if I was to allow group, I, uh, if I was to uncheck allow group access, then I could also allow group access to a specific group if I go to general and if I set my land to a group. Like if I only want a certain group to access it, say maintenance, then it says maintenance there. This is land set to group, not owned by a group. It would say group owned if that was the fact, but back in access here, you can see I can only allow group now, allow access to this one group. So people who are members of this group that can come into my parcel. So all in all, there's these access options. Remember, you can right-click avatars to freeze and to eject LIM from your parcel. You can set these kinds of options. You can add banned residents, and you can add specific residents who are allowed if you want only them to come on board. Try those options out. Get more control over your parcel access. It's good for deterring griefing and allowing more selectivity if you want something semi-private. That's certainly possible in Second Life. Enjoy.